So let's consider what happens to a protein when the pH changes. Because proteins have got ionizable groups, and they're going to respond to the change in pH by ionizing. And one of the most important groups in a protein, one of the most important amino acids, one of the most important side chains, is histidine. Because histidine can ionize between this form here, which is neutral, not protonated, and this form over here, which is protonated there. And so the pKa for this is 6.0. And that's what makes histidine unique, because it's the amino acid which has got a side chain pK closest to, to neutral, so closest to physiological here. So if we want to know what percentage of the side chains are protonated at any given pH, we need to invoke the hensel hasselbach equation. So a hensel hasselbach equation says that pH is equal to the pKa plus the log 10 of A minus divided by HA. And in this case, HA is this form, because this is the protonated form, and A minus is this form, because it's the deprotonated form, it's the non-protonated form. So let's see what happens at pH 7.2. So if the pH is 7.2, well, the pK is 6.0, there, and that's equal to the log 10 of this ratio. A minus divided by HA, there. So let's take this 6.0 across this side. So that's going to become 7.2 minus 6.0 is 1.2. So 1.2 is going to equal the log 10 of this ratio, which means that 10 raised to the power 1.2 is equal to this ratio, A minus divided by HA. So 10 raised to the power 1.2 is equal to 15.8. So at pH 7.2, there's 15.8 of the deprotonated form for every one of the protonated form. There. So that tells us the ratio, but that wasn't quite what we were looking for. We were looking for the percentage of side chains, which were ionized at pH 7.2. So let's just define what we mean by percentage. So percentage HA is going to equal the amount of HA divided by the total amount, and the total amount is HA plus A minus, there. and that's times 100 because we're looking for the percentage. There. So we can put the numbers in. So HA is 1. So that's 1 divided by 1 plus 15.8 times 100. And if you put that into your calculator, you will find that it says 6.0. So that means that at pH 7.2, the percentage of side chains which are ionized is 6. So 6% 6 are ionized, which is going to mean that 94% are not ionized there. And of course this number is going to vary with the pH. As the pH drops, these side chains will become more and more ionized, more and more protonated there.